Hi, my name is Asteroid. How are you guys doing? Welcome back to Pokemon Moon. I know, right? It's about freaking time. Anyways, in the previous episode, we made it here to the battle tree. We also took on my boy Red. Now, unfortunately, his levels were crazy high and we got absolutely demolished. Now, what I did in between episodes is I grinded up a little bit. We're going to be trying to fight Red again and see if we could potentially beat him. If not, then what we're probably going to do for this episode is we're probably going to go ahead over to the Altar of the Moon and catch the extra Cosmog that we're able to obtain. So there's a ton of stuff in the after game. I'm not sure exactly how much of it we're going to do because honestly, I really 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 want to start our next solo LP sometime soon I didn't expect there to be this much after game so I think what we'll probably do is we'll do a lot of the legendary catching and a lot of the big uh, like long stuff on stream so you guys can look forward to those Pokemon moon streams but in video form we're probably just gonna be doing the smaller things uh, just to kind of tie it up and we're probably not gonna do a lot of the you know little extra things mainly focus on the big stuff like legends and the ultra beasts and you know, that type of stuff. So without further ado, let's go over the team. First up, we have my boy. My boy, level 50. Uh, not, I was going to say 52, but, but he's only level 50. We have level 50 RKS with Iron Head, Swords Dance, Egg Scissor, and Dragon Claw. Now, I'm pretty sure I taught Iron Head off screen, if I can recall. So we do have Iron Head, Swords Dance, Egg Scissor, and Dragon Claw. Pretty, pretty powerful moveset. I mean, it's not, it's not perfect, but it does put in work. We do have that plus speed nature, which is very interesting. Next up, we have Pinkaboo level 57 with Play Rough, Swords Dance, Shadow Claw, and Leech Life with Ferium Z. We have Houdini level 60 with Swords Dance, Leaf Blade, Spirit Shackle, and Brave Bird. We have Mob level 61 with Scald, Aquatel, Ice Beam, and Hydro Pump. We have Cypher level 62 with Flamethrower, Toxic, Nasty Plot, and Sludge Bomb. And then last but not least, we have the level 63 Lunala with Moon Guy, Ice Beam, Dazzling Gleam, Psychic, and Ice Beam. So I know we're still nowhere near on par uh, to where we should be, especially for these red and blue champion matches. But we're going to go in again, see what we can do, and just see if we can possibly do a little bit better. Now what I want to do here is I actually want to save. Because if it's going to give us the option to choose between blue and red again, there's a good chance we could actually fight blue and then soft reset and then go ahead and fight red. I totally, you know, totally wasn't able to do this last time because I didn't even know you had the option. I, I didn't even know we were going to be fighting them. So now we're more prepared. We now have that save state. And I mean, worst case scenario, if we do want to go back and fight. Okay, for a second there, I thought they weren't going to show up. Yo, what's up, my dudes? Now it's nighttime. I think it was, uh, I think it was uh, daytime last time. All right, you're asteroid, right? Yep, that, that's me. See that red? I still got it. So now, uh, they're restarting the dialogue, which means we might actually be able to fight blue and then reset and then fight red. We're probably gonna go ahead and do that. The name's Blue. This guy's red. Nice to meet you, and hey, congrats to you on becoming champion of Lola. I can speak English. We were both champions of the Kanto region in our own days. Nice to meet a fellow champ, yeah? What do you say, red? Yo, he's so awesome. Ellipses? Still as silent as ever, eh? Look, I'm a trainer, so if I see another strong trainer, I'm gonna wanna fight them. So how about a battle? Which of us will you choose? So we did say before beforehand, what I wanna do is I think I wanna go fight blue. And then if we lose to blue, or if we beat blue, whatever happens, we can easily reset, fight red, and then we'll be good to go. So we're gonna go ahead and fight blue. I know we can fight both of them in the battle tree, but I really just wanna I, I wanna see, you know, their battle right now. I don't wanna wait. I don't want to have to climb the ranks of the battle tree just to battle them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you get it. Here I go. Yo, I know that voice is probably really dumb, but it has been so long since I've recorded this series. It's a little bit wild. It's a little bit wild. If you guys didn't know, my birthday was Monday, and uh, this past weekend, plus these past few days, um, have just been crazy hectic. That's why we haven't had any solo LP videos. We really haven't had any videos, period besides just Soul Link going up and then streams. So I'm really sorry about that. I'm glad um, you guys have been enjoying Pokemon Moon and stuff though. It really, really does mean a lot to me. So level 65, Alakazam. That's a little bit wild. I'm gonna go ahead and go into Lunala. I'm gonna go ahead and swap into him, hit him with that Moongeist Beam. Should be pretty powerful. See, so yeah, I didn't have the chance to record any one-off videos. Um, literally the only thing I recorded for like these past five days, it, it was just Soul Link. It was just Soul Link because Soul Link 
Soul Link is priority, you know what I'm saying? Like, Soul Link I had to make time for, but this stuff I was focusing more on, you know, birth, my birthday stuff, and then we had a bunch of visitors. You guys probably saw Skylar was over, uh, my best friend from Illinois, we hung out, we did a bunch of live streams. Thank you guys for your support on those live streams, by the way. Um, I had a lot of fun with those. We are going to be able to eat that up because of the multi-scale. I say multi-scale, it's actually, um, it's actually a shadow shield. By the way, answer the question of the day. If you guys have not already, I think the question today is going to be blue or red. Like, which which character do you prefer? I, I don't know. Maybe that's a good question today. I don't even know. Maybe I would have asked that already. Maybe I've already asked that already. I don't know. This is my first video uh, recording today. This is my first video I've recorded in a while. <laughs> not just today. It's been a while. So I'm a bit out of it. I'm sorry. And my commentary sucks ass. But that being said, we're going to go ahead and swap out. Go into my boy Mob. I'm thinking. I know Mob. You can take these hits. You can dish out the damage. You can knock out this Aerodactyl. You got this, my dude. Ah, oh, you got this, my dude. By the way, thank you guys so much for 7,000 subscribers. That is absolutely crazy. Um, one of the best birthday gifts I could have asked for. So thank you guys so much. Uh, honestly, I don't even know. Like, I'm still working on that 5K special. You guys know the 5K Q&A is still coming. <laughs> I know I'm like, I'm like 2,000 subscribers late, but it's, it's coming, alright? I promise, I promise. Um, let's hit him with that Aqua Tail. So yeah, my birthday was a ton of fun. We, uh, we hung out on Sunday, we went to Dave and Buster's with a bunch of friends. Of course, he gets the flinch. That's really obnoxious. Do I have potions? Okay, we do. We do, it just... Why, why you gotta do this to me, man? Why you gotta do this to me? See, so yeah, we went, we went to Dave and Buster's, um, we hung out over there. And then we came back, we had cake, we had pizza, and actually I got the Nintendo Switch for my birthday. Nah, not really. I, I got I got a letter that says <laughs> I, I'm gonna get the Nintendo Switch when it comes out. So, yeah, I don't have it yet. I'll get it on March 3rd, obviously, when it comes out. I'm really, really looking forward to that in Zelda Breath of the Wild. It's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be absolutely insane, man. Like, I, I'm so hyped for this console. Wow, good thing you missed. Wait, was that a rock slide? I don't even know. Wasn't even paying attention. Was not even paying attention, but I'm glad he missed. Oh, he had a reflect up. I totally forgot about that. I should have been going for the uh, the skulls. It's all right though. We're gonna live this. We're gonna eat it up and then finish him off with the skull. No issues at all. You think we're playing games? Get out of your aerodactyl. You're not fat. So I think we might actually be able to beat Blue. Maybe. I don't know, I, I guess we'll see. It's gonna suck because all the experience we're getting from this match isn't going to carry over to the red match because we are going to soft reset. Uh, Executor, we're gonna go ahead and swap out. Go into my boy. Um, I'm thinking, no. You see, I was gonna say Cypher. You know what? I, I should go into Cypher. No? Actually, no. We're going into Peekaboo. We're going into Peekaboo because Peekaboo is not weak to Psychic. And we do carry the Leech Life, which is four times super effective, and we can start Swords Dancing, which should be pretty nice. See, so yeah, our birthday was awesome, hung out with friends, got a bunch of cool stuff, and on top of that, on my actual birthday on Monday, I, uh, we, we not only, wait, did we? Hang on, I'm trying to think, yeah, we not only hit 7,000 subscribers on Monday, but also, I got an entire week off of school due to illness. So, like, it was a lot of unintentional birthday presents, like, of course, the sub-special was awesome, or the, uh, the milestone was awesome, and then, because of this illness that's going around my school, I, I don't even know what it is, apparently it's, like, this flu, I, I really haven't heard much about it, but they, they literally called off the rest of the week of school because of this illness, so I have Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, because of President's Day, I have all those days off, so I'm enjoying my time off, and um, we're gonna be working on a bunch of videos, and it's gonna be great because Vinny's sleep lock is today. I think when you guys see this video, um, Vinny's sleep lock will be going on right now. If you guys are not watching his sleep lock, I'll be there. I'll be hanging out. You guys should definitely check it out. Anyways, though, uh, we already sword danced once, right? So I think we're just gonna go for the leech life. I don't, I don't see any reason not to. He goes for the leaf storm. That is a powerful animation. But we are eating that up because of the disguise. Rip your special attack. I'm so sorry, man. I am so sorry. If only you had contrary, my dude. If only you had contrary. There's the four times super effective plus two leech life. 
Um, obviously, it would have been better if we could have gotten some HP back from that, but we're already at full health. Doesn't make a difference. How cool would it be if you get health back, like, while you're already at full, and then, like, it revives your substitute? It revives your disguise. That would be a little bit broken, right? <laughs> Anyways, that's gonna be the Arcanine. He probably has Intimidate. Yep. Yep, that's unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. I'm gonna go ahead and hit him with that, uh... With that Shadow Claw, nonetheless. We are still plus one, it is Stab. He's also going to take a lot of damage from this recoil. Flare Blitz has such a powerful animation in this game. And we're not living. We're not living. I thought we could live that. I guess not. I mean, then again, it was a Stab Flare Blitz from an Arcanine. I'm not really sure what I expected. I was going to Mob, and I'm going to have to heal up for sh Ooh, actually. I probably should have healed up and then swapped in, because now... Mmm. This could be bad. Because now we're not going to be in school form until after this turn so he could kill us e-speed live 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 no <laughs> if i would have healed and then been in school form and then and, and then swapped him in that would have been so much better that would have been so much better all right <sighs> new plan new plan let's go into my boy I th i'm thinking cypher I'm thinking cypher we can go for the nasty plot i don't know why we don't use nasty plot more often like, we use Cypher all the time, but we never make use of Nasty Pot. I'm gonna try and set up real quick. Because we still have the Z- Oh! He has Bulldoze! Rip! Oh my goodness, this thing is powerful. Okay, th this thing is a bit insane. Just a little, little bit wild. Let's go into, I guess, uh... I guess Lunala, it's all we can do. It's all we can do. So yeah, as I was saying before, a lot of the big stuff, like a lot of the time-consuming stuff, like the Ultra Beast, and, um... What else? Like, the battling the trial captains? I think we're gonna be doing that either off-camera or I will probably do it in streams. Like, especially with the, with the Ultra Beast, we'll do, the, we'll do that on stream when it comes to trial captains. I'm not even sure if we're gonna do that 100%. I mean, it really, really depends. I, I really, really, really just want to start this next LP. Because, like, as much as I love Moon, um, I'm not really much of an after-game guy. I would not probably much rather do it off-camera, to be honest. But, like, Ultra Beast, we're definitely doing. Um, Trial Captains are up in the air. Uh, getting Cosmog by going to the Altar of the Moon, that will probably be in a video. And then stuff like completing the Pokedex, that'll be off screen. Um, but yeah, it's hard, man. It's hard because, like, I really, like, I'm so hyped for this next LP and I really want you guys to see it. But at the same time, I know a lot of you guys have been enjoying the Moon LP and I know a lot of you guys um, are enjoying this after game stuff. So it's hard, it's hard to make a decision here. But. I think that'll be good if we do some of the major after game stuff and then save some of it, you know, for either later or just off camera or whatever. We don't have to do all of it, you know, I'm not trying to complete the game. But, um, yeah, we're gonna go and hit him with that Moon Guy's Beam, I think. He's going to outspeed us, though. Never mind, rip Lunala. Okay. We might have to start reviving some peeps here. Because we literally only have Houdini left. I really don't want to lose. I feel like we've come, you know, pretty far. I feel like we've done a good job, and we are weak to crunch, so I'm going to go ahead and revive some, some fools here. Uh, please tell me we have revives. Please tell me we have revives. I, I don't think we have revives. I don't think we have revives. Rip. Rip, rip, rip. Okay, um, I, I think we just have to, have to, <laughs> have to hope for the best. Please don't kill us. We lived! 1 HP! Yo, Houdini, you're wild, man. <laughs> Absolutely wild. Let's go. Look at that face. You think he gives a shit? <laughs> he is done. He's so done with everything. Alright, hit him with that Sinister Arrow Raid. Please don't survive this. There's no way. There's no way you're living this. He's probably living this. I, I don't think this is gonna kill. Oh wow, it actually did- that was a crit! I think that crit mattered. I think that crit mattered. Okay. Okay, we're in a pretty good spot here. Cannot believe we lived on 1 HP. Let's go ahead and heal up. He only has a Machamp left. That's all he has left. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We're gonna go ahead and heal- no, no, no. We have to use Forest Store. I'm going for the Forest Store. We need all the HP we can get. I, I really don't want to lose right now. The problem is if Houdini dies, we only have Type Null. And... Poison jab, that's neutral. 
That's neutral. And obviously Type No really, wow. Obviously Type No really can't do much. I'm gonna go for that Brave Bird, please outspeed. We outspeed, right? No! We do not outspeed, knock off, we're gone. We're gone, we do not speed. I was banking on us out speeding. All right, now we only have RKS. Are we really gonna lose this, man? We were so close. We are so close. There's nothing I can do about it, though. We're gonna go for the Dragon Claw. Cross Chop, yeah, we're gone. We're gone, there's no way. There's no way. We tried. We tried, right? So, I know a lot of you guys were, um, were yelling at me in the comment section of the Tapu Fini video because I, I didn't know how to soft reset. I still don't know how to soft reset. I know there's like a shortcut you can do. I, I don't know how to do it, all right? <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and just hard reset, I guess. Wait for this software to close and then we'll go back into it. Man, it just, it just sucks, dude. Sucks that we had to lose like that. We're gonna go up against red and see what happens there. I mean, worst case scenario, if we lose again, I mean, hopefully we can win against red because then, then we'll be able to continue on. You know, I think we have to either, I, I don't think losing is an option. Yeah, I, I think when you lose, it has you rebattle them. I think you have to beat them. So I don't know, we'll see what happens. I mean, worst case scenario, if we don't beat them, we could come back at a later date, but, um, Honestly, you guys are probably telling me, oh, you should have grinded up more. And honestly, I probably should have grinded up more, but I really didn't want to, to be honest. You know, I was kind of just like, eh, grinding is so boring. You know what I'm saying? All right, we're going to go ahead and lead with Peekaboo because I know he leads with Pikachu and I want it to be a Peekaboo versus Pikachu battle. I want it to be a battle to the death. All right. All right, here we go. Red, let's go, my dude. I wonder what would happen if you would have said no. I should have said no there, man. I like the music so much. Ah. Ah. All right, we have to go red, my dudes. We have to go red. Blue, you put up a great fight, man. It was a good, good close match, but we have to go up against red. Exclamation point. Yes! Alright, hopefully this time we can make it past his Pikachu. Now the problem with Red is that his Pikachu is level 70. Which is a little bit crazy. But we have Peekaboo, who does have the Disguise. And we can start Swords Dancing, and we can hit him with the Z-Move. I wonder if... I wonder if they use Z-Moves at all. I don't know. I don't know. Also, I should probably mention, while I was grinding, um, I did actually get my hands on the Mega Stone, or the, the, the Key Ring. So just, just so you guys know that, um, I would have loved to do it on camera, but I accidentally ran into Cena and Dexio, and they just kind of gave me the, uh, they kind of just gave me the Mega Ring. Also, we got to battle Dexio, because we battled Cena towards the beginning of the game, which was pretty cool. He was able to Mega Evolve, he had a Mega Alakazam. Um, I wish I could have gotten it on camera, as I said, but... Eh, I mean, it's all right. It's all right. He goes for the bolt tackle. Please live. Peekaboo, peekaboo, peekaboo. No, we're not living it. <sighs> Man, why, why, why do I suck so bad? Like, what? Why does our team just constantly get outpaced? I, I mean, I guess this is because we're so under leveled. That, that's the main reason why. But I'm gonna try and sword dance. I, I have to get set up, and I have to. I have to do more damage. That's what we have to do. Wow, they did a lot of damage to us. Can you stop, like, bolt tackling, please? It's it's so powerful. Like, this Pikachu is insane. Pikachu, this Pikachu is absolutely insane, man. It's too crazy. All right, we have to heal. And that, that was not very effective, too. I mean, I know we're 10 levels below this thing, but it's a Pikachu, man. It's only a Pikachu. Live, live, live. No crit, no crit, no crit. Okay, I'm, he's gonna have to die from recoil. I'm gonna heal again. I'm just gonna let him let him kill himself with recoil. As much as I hate to do it, I think he just has to has to do that. There's no there's no way we'd be able to get an attack off on this thing. He outspeeds our entire team. All right, Pikachu, get out of here, my dude. Good game, good game. I like how Voltaggle literally destroyed him, like completely destroyed himself with Voltaggle. 
Red, you are really not that good of a trainer. Oh, it's my boy! It's my boy! Oh no. Guys, I can't I can't kill him. I can't, I can't kill him. I can't. Look at how adorable he is. Oh my god, I can't do it. I can't do it, guys. The, this is the end of the series. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Um, there, there's no way I can take down, take on this Lapras. I just can't. He goes for Ice Shard. Yo, I love the animation. Okay. I'm gonna go for the Leaf Blade. I, I am so sorry, Lapras. You know I love you. You know I love you. Please, bro. He lived! Yo, Lapras, you're in- Oh! Okay, that was slick. That was slick. Lapras, you're insane. You are absolutely insane. Lives on like one HP. That was a plus two stab, super effective leaf blade. And he ate it like it was nothing. That's what you get for having a 130 base HP stat. I, I'm telling you guys. Charizard. That's a little bit threatening. I'm gonna go in and swap out, go into my boy. I'm thinking mob. I think mob is the best course of action here. How cool would it be if he had a mega Charizard? Like he did in Origins. That would be really cool. I mean, I don't think he has a Mega. I, I don't think he has a Z-Crystal either. But it would be cool to see. It would be very cool to see. So. I'm going to go ahead and hit him with that. Uh, oh, let's go for the Skull. Let's go for the Skull. I think I think three of his six Pokemon are Charizard, Venusaur, and Blastoise. That, that's what I think. Uh, we're going to be able to eat the Focus Blast. No problem at all. I, I think his team is Pikachu, Lapras, Charizard, Venusaur, Blastoise. And then one more Pokemon that I, I haven't seen yet. Let's go over the Scald again. We can live another Focus Blast, no problems at all. He swaps out. He's making plays. Yeah, going into Venusaur. That makes sense. That makes sense. All right, get a burn. Mob, get a burn. Get a burn. No burn. No burn. Okay. Let's go ahead and swap into Cypher. I think is probably our best play to make. Yo, did you guys hear about Logitech's 4K webcam? It's called the Logitech Brio. And it looks so nice, man. I I'm gonna pick one up. I'm gonna pick one up. You guys know I love my C920, which is uh, the webcam that I use for all my videos. But the new Logitech uh, Brio that they made, it does 4K 30fps and then 1080p 60fps. Like, that, that is so nice, man. Such an awesome sounding webcam. And it's only $200. Like, that, that is cheap considering the specs you're getting. And I, I've seen I've seen video quality from it, and it looks so good, man. Looks so good. If you guys start seeing a dramatic increase in uh, face cam quality, then you'll you'll know what happened. You'll know what happened. Wow, he has bulldoze. That is the second time today I've gotten surprised by a bulldoze. <laughs> Come on, Venusaur, why you gotta do this to me? Okay, let's go ahead and go into my boy Lunala. We do have the psychic. This thing is part poison typing. How, how, man, I, I wish you would have had a Mega Charizard, but then, then again, I like how they're sticking to their origins, you know, they're, uh, they're, they're not just throwing in Mega Evolutions just to have Megas, the, this generation isn't about Megas, it's about Z Crystals and Alola, Psychic is gonna do an okay chunk to Blastoise, I'm gonna go ahead and go for the Moon Geist Beam here, he probably has Dark Pulse, which is a little bit scary, but we do have the Shadow Shield, so he should be okay, should be all right. So yeah, now that Skylar um, is uh, is back home, and uh, we don't have any more visitors, I'm gonna have a lot more time to, you know, make a lot more videos. Hopefully, we're not just gonna be having streams. Uh, so we'll have Moon pretty much daily. Oh, my DS is gonna die. <sighs> all right, let me go grab my charger. <laughs> let me grab my charger. Don't wait. Is it right here? No, it's over there. All right, give me like three seconds. Don't don't panic. Don't panic, all right? I'm watching you. You better not panic. Better not panic. Better not panic. Uh, shoot. Wait, no, I found it. We're good. <laughs> I thought I lost it. I thought I lost it. We're all right. We're all right. I am a professional YouTuber, I swear. I swear I am... I am the most professional YouTuber, all right? You will not see... Another YouTuber quite as professional as I. Uh, where is... Shoot, we gotta fix the green screen. Give me one moment. Give me one moment. Okay. Alright, we're good. Green screen's back. How are you guys doing? Thank you for sticking around. Alright, Blastoise gets knocked out. So I'm assuming no Dark Pulse? Or no, it did have Dark Pulse, didn't it? 
but we totally ate that up, right? He goes in the Snorlax. That is a little bit wild. It's a little, little bit wild, a little bit more wild than I would have liked. Um, let's go into Houdini. If we can hit this thing on the physical side, that would be for the best. You guys know Snorlax is very specially bulky, but not so much physically. I, it's still physically bulky, but it's just more so specially bulky. We're going to go ahead and hit him with that Leaf Blade, I'm thinking. I would go for the Z-move, obviously, but it's Ghost-type, and this thing is a normal-type Pokemon. Um, and Then the Crunch. Oh, no. Oh, no. I just... I, I want to win, man. Can we just beat Red at least? Like, come on, dude. Uh, I think Mob is probably our best bet. We can hit him with that Aqua Tail. It, it just sucks, man. His team is so po Both Red and Blue's team are so powerful. It's crazy how powerful they are. Okay. Aqua Tail. It's physical. It's powerful. Body Slam. We're living it. We're living it. We're living it. We're living it. Oh, we took it. Aqua Tail. There we go, my dude. It's going to do a good chunk, but not quite enough. And now we're going to lose our school form. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and swap into, I think, Type Null. And then we'll use that turn to heal up Mob. We got to attack physically, man. We got to attack physically. So we're probably going to have to stack off RKS here. It sucks that Arceus really can't be of much use to us right now, but he's getting up there with the levels. I mean, he's 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 trying. He's doing it. We just got to get a few more levels on him, and we should be good. I'm going to go for the Forest Store on Mob, just so we can easily finish off this Snorlax, and then maybe do a bit more damage to the rest of his team. High Horsepower. I, I didn't realize that Snorlax got that move. I, I thought that was just like, um... I thought that was just like a... A Mudsdale you know, specific move. I guess not, though. All right. Mob is here. Mob is ready to go. Mob is, uh, is re ready to swim. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Eat it! Oh, we're eating that. Not, not really. Doesn't get the para, please. Don't be paralyzed. Please don't be paralyzed. Thank you. We do land the aqua tail and kill. Kill. Thank you. That Snorlax is a pain in the butt. But thank goodness, we do get a level up, which is great. Now we're level 62. And... Venusaur. Okay, let's go ahead and swap out. Let's go back into Lunala. We can hit him with that Psychic again. Also, if we do get the chance, we could go for the Forest Store on uh, Mob to make sure he's in tip-top shape. I think we should be able to win this. I think. If we get lucky. I mean, a lot of his Pokemon that he has left are as weakened down, right? I think it's just, I think it's just Venusaur and Charizard, right? If it's just Venusaur and Charizard, then I think we're in good shape. We're going to be able to knock out the Venusaur here. So rest in spaghetti, never forget it. Venusaur, great job, my dude. You you put in a lot of effort. 10 out of 10. And then he just says Charizard. We're going to stay in with Lunala. I know we could go into Mob, but we'd have to heal him first. And anyways, Charizard is really low on health. Like, look at this. Look at this. Easy. Easy. Fire. Oh, and he misses. He can't even land a Fire Blast. You're a joke. You're a joke. Good try, though. Good try. You tried. It was a good attempt. It was a solid attempt. Now we're level 64 with Lunala, which is great. And I think that's it, my dudes. We defeated Red. So we didn't beat Blue, but that's all right. Uh, at least we got to fight him, and then we got to beat Red, which is pretty cool. We got $18,000. Wow. Red, Red's making it rain. All right, let's go ahead and heal your paralysis. I don't, I don't want to see you sad. Look at how sad he is. I don't want to see you sad, Mob. That, that's just unfortunate. I really don't want to see you like that. Let's go ahead and make sure you're healed. There we go. Look at the hearts. Adorable. Absolutely adorable. I wish you could interact with him in school form, though. That'd be crazy. All right, now what? Exclamation point. We are caught here to be the new boss of this, of this year's battle tree. We'll definitely battle again if you can manage to make it through the battle tree, that is. And when we do, I'll show you just what a top candle trainer can do. Ellipses. So Red still doesn't doesn't talk. I mean, I would I wish just like, you know what you know what I would wish? I would wish that just for one like one encounter. Is there a Pokemon Center here? Oh, this is all battle point stuff. I wish that just for one conversation with Red, he would just start speaking, like speaking like a normal person. Like you know you know Phineas and Ferb. You know Phineas? No, it was Ferb. I think it was Ferb, the one that never talked. But then, like, when he did talk, it was the most amazing thing ever. I, I kind of wish they would do that with Red. 
But then again, it makes sense that, you know, he's silent because he's, he's technically you. He's technically you as the player in Fire Red and Leaf Green, so... It does make sense. Anyways, though, we're gonna go ahead and end this episode right here. In the next episode, we'll probably go ahead and take on... We'll probably go ahead and get ourselves the other Cosmog from the Altar of the Moon. And then, uh, maybe within these next few episodes, we'll also do Necrozma. So that'll be interesting, but that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope to see you guys next time. Peace!